it's one of those compounds that you hear through the grapevine. It's I think it's really magic, honestly, but you have to ramp up the dose just pretty high. Mm -hmm. That brings us to Increlex. Who has experience with Increlex? Not firsthand. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. No, but pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, it is very amazing stuff. So, Kurt, have you coached a few people that use Increlex? Yeah, uh, and I, I, we see it in, in it's used in hospital surgeons very rarely. Yeah. If mm -hmm. you know, if there's liver issues or something, and child isn't producing IGF from growth hormone, but it's just it's. I've not even even seen it on the black market here. I know in mm. Europe, it makes its way. Yeah. Um, yeah, seems like really great stuff. But again, for an advanced user, I don't know if it has much of a place. Like I would leverage growth hormone for a while before you even got into that yeah. stuff. Yeah, since, since the availability is so low and it's difficult to source, and even when you source it, it's kind of expensive. Now you can somewhat justify that by taking, let's say you spend the full price, right? Let's say you spend $700 for the 40 milligrams of Increlex. I use 500 micrograms per day, which seems to be a pretty effective dose. So you have 80 servings for a $700 bottle, right? 80 servings up until 500 micrograms is 40 milligrams. So you do 700 divided by 80 is $8.75. That's two AUs growth hormone. So instead of running 18 AUs, uh, pharma, you run 16, you break even, you shuttle it at $9 to the Increlex, and I think you get better results. So financially, you you are breaking even, but from a muscle enhancement, muscle fullness, nutrient partitioning, hyperplasia perspective, it makes the world of difference. Um, really, it makes the world of difference. Now, sourcing is always an issue. Pricing is always an issue. You can get it cheaper than $700 per box, uh, if you know a guy, right? Uh, same as Sarah Stim, you can get it way cheaper than most people do. Um, so in that context, I think it's S tier, but most people just ne will never have access to it. Um, and I, I got guys begging me in my inbox. <laughs> <Look at> my <laughs> 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 Teen, is it, can I fly yeah. with Increlex to the UK? Yeah, yeah it should be okay. Uh, All right. Uh, well, hypothetically. That's good uh, to hypothetically, know. Hypothetically. <laughs> hypothetically. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, it's it, it's not, like Kurt said, it's not something I've really seen prescribed. Um, mm -hmm. I have one of the, the British National Formatories. I don't even think it's in that book. I'd have to, I'd have to go and check as a, a licensed medication. Um, oh, okay. So. I, 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 I mean, Ibsen produces it in France. Um, mm -hmm. And I, it's one of those compounds that you hear through the grapevine is shit. Um, and it, it, I think it's really magic, honestly, but you have to ramp up the dose just pretty high. Mm -hmm. So before we would talk about 25 micrograms to 100 micrograms, I'm talking about 500 micrograms to one milligram per day is where it really starts to shine um, in combination with the other drugs. And this is a similar protocol to what I heard people talk about at the Mr. Olympia, who also ran... In Crelex, and it was both in open and in classic physique. And they say that at, at those dosages, it's it's almost like magic. Yeah. So I'm solo from my own personal experience and anecdotal reports. I'm going to put it in S tier. Um, and you guys are just going to have to believe me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've heard, I've heard all the same stuff you've said. About yeah. Uh, Increlex. IGF-1. 